Hey guys, welcome back to Cast Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to do a brisket. I got it at my local Sam's Club. It's a 17 pound prime USDA brisket for only 49 bucks. So to start off, what we're going to do is trim the brisket. You can see that I was rounding the edges, getting rid of that fat uh, deckle in there. All right. So I was rounding the edges to make the brisket more aerodynamic in the smoke chamber so the smoke will roll over it nice and easy. Um, you can spend as much time or little time trimming it as you want. Um, rule of thumb on the flat part, you generally want a quarter inch of that fat cap remaining on the top so it doesn't dry out while it's cooking. As the fat renders down, the juices will go into the meat so you want to keep a little bit of fat cap on there. So once you're done trimming it, hit it with Worcestershire sauce as a binder. In this video that's what we're doing. So after you got your Worcestershire sauce binder on there, we're going to hit it with 50-50 rock salt and pepper and I even added in just a little bit of garlic powder so it's kind of an SPG rub we're doing. Once you've got it all seasoned up, put it in the fridge to stay cold while you get your smoker going and uh, throw it on when it's up to temp. Alright, so 229, I just threw another stick in there. Alright, vents are pretty much all the way closed over here. Stack is about halfway open. Some nice blue smoke there. We're just going to let it ride. Alright, so you guys are going to have to forgive me for the probably the sound and the quality of this video. It is storming and I've been sitting out here maintaining the temperature and the fire. I just checked on it. It is 7 a.m. right now. The brisket went on at 3.30, 3.45. The internal temperature is 116. The cook chamber I've been maintaining between 240 and 260, 270. So uh, I think we're on track. I'm gonna wrap it, Texas Crutch, with aluminum foil when the internal temperature reaches 160 to 170, wherever our stall point is. I apologize if you can't hear me that well. Just hanging out here with the wood, smokers over there. So I'll be back with you guys when we wrap. All right guys, I just took some readings with my Thermal Pro Quick Read Pen and it's telling me that it's time to wrap. Uh, some parts in the point is 150, 152. Other parts, uh, like the flat side, is like 165, almost 170. So I'm gonna wrap it at this point so we can get that tenderness going. I'm gonna put some aluminum foil down on a metal baking sheet and I'll show you here in a second what I'm doing. Put the brisket on the foil and then just fold the foil right over it, nice and tight. Let it braise in its own juices as it's cooking and coming up to temperature. We're shooting for 205, 210, um, and it should be good. So let me show you the foil, and we'll get this thing on here. Guys, so I made it a lot longer and wider than the actual cooking sheet. So I'm going to put the brisket right in there. We're going to fold the sides over the brisket, and then I'm going to put two more aluminum foil wraps this way here and here to make sure that it's wrapped well insulated nothing's gonna leak out of it and it's nice and tight so let's get it on here alright you guys look at that it's looking beautiful it's almost bigger than the frickin pan I'm pretty sure it was bigger than the pan when it started they do shrink a little bit when you cook them so but alright let's get this thing wrapped up alright guys got it wrapped left to right over here. And now we're gonna go around it. The sucker's hot. <whistles> Careful, wear gloves or something, protect your hands, it's freaking hot. Now I'm gonna go this way. Tuck the sides. You want it as tight as possible. And I'm sorry I'm filming this on my phone for most of these clips. Bear with me in the cell phone footage. Alright. So now that we've got two wraps this way and two wraps this way, I'm going to do another one. 
from the point to the flat and underneath and then back on top. Just one, you know, full wrap lengthwise. You don't want a lot of space in here because all that steam in open spaces will destroy the bark. So you want it as tight as possible to try to preserve the bark as best as you can. Now all you have to do is put this back on the smoker, maintain your temperatures, don't worry about adding wood. There's no more smoke that's gonna get in here. So you can just use charcoal, or if you really want to, you can bring it inside, put it in the oven, um, just maintain your temperature. 250, 275, if you're doing hot and fast, 300, 325. But we are going to put this back on the offset and maintain 275. I'm gonna go a little higher while it's wrapped. Kinda speed things along a little bit. We should be eating in about four hours, so I kind of need this to pick up pace a little bit. Stick around, be right with you. Got it back there on the smoker, all nice and tightly wrapped up in foil. Got the probe back in the same spot, right in the middle. The internal where the probe is, is 154, 181, cook chamber temperature and dropping because I just opened it. Let me get my vent open. Side vents are all the way open. I just dumped some more uh, charcoal in the firebox, so when that starts catching and lighting, it'll st the heat's gonna pick back up quite a bit. So cook until internal temperature reaches 205 to 210. That's all there is to it. Should be good. I'm gonna take it out of here once we reach that internal temperature of 205 to 210 leave it in the foil, wrap it in a towel, put it in a cooler, and I'm gonna let it rest there for an hour minimum. I might let it rest for two hours. Once you let it rest, you can take it out, slice it, pull it, pull brisket sandwiches, slice brisket. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Stay tuned. Just wanted to show you guys this real quick. This is a Vecan 4 probe digital thermometer, and this is the receiver. So the 4 probe, thermometer is out there with the smoker and one probe is in the cooking chamber here probe one and the other probe probe three is in the brisket so that's our actual temp 155 internal and that's our cooking uh, cooking chamber temperature 293 you can see it's kind of going up a little bit so 350 I set an alarm for 350 you can see a little alarm right there I can turn that on or off with that button there see that little icon come up so if it exceeds 350, the alarm will go off. Same with down here, if I switch to probe three, you can turn that alarm on or off. And I set it to 209, because that's when I'm gonna pull the brisket off. It's at 155 internal now, when it hits 209, it'll alarm. It'll let me know that it's hit 209, and I'll go out there and I'll pull it off. You can get one of these off Amazon. Thermo Pro is a good brand. Everybody goes with Thermo Pro. I decided to go with Vecan because it's a little cheaper. Not much, just a little bit. But this thing is awesome, it's accurate. I have my Thermo Pro quick read pen that I also use to double check. Always double check with a second thermometer, you never know. But when I use my Thermo Pro quick pen, um, it's very close, within two or three degrees. So this thing is very, very accurate. AAA batteries for both the receiver and the thermometer. I'll put a link down in the description for it so you guys can go check those out and get yourself one. So yeah, go check them out on Amazon. Really good product. So yeah, it's 2 p.m. now. We put this thing on at 3.30. That's a total of 10 and a half hours for a 17 pound brisket. Now, I wrapped it a little early. I wrapped it when some parts were 150 and other parts were 165. So, uh, and then we crank the heat up. So it really accelerates the process when you wrap it and turn your heat up. It really starts cooking it a lot faster. So 10 and a half hours for a 17 pound brisket. And when they say an hour to an hour and 15 minutes per pound, you do the math, 10 and a half hours is quick. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And without further ado, we are at 208. This thing's done. So I'm gonna pull this off. We're gonna wrap it in that towel, drop it in the cooler, and it's time to let it rest for at least an hour. I'm probably gonna go for two, two and a half, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like when we pull it out of the foil. All right, it's as simple as that. 
off the smoker still in the foil wrapped in a just a bathroom towel in the cooler and I'll see that thing in two hours all right so here we are two hours rested smells amazing got some good bark here that's the fat cap see that jiggle that's how you know you've got a good uh, end result right here so we're gonna get this on the cutting board and start slicing the flat and then we'll tear apart the point all right I got my Dalstrung Shogun series slicing knife here We're going to try to make slices just as thick as a pencil and we're going to do the bend test so you know that it was cooked right. Nice smoke ring in there, wonderful bark. Look at that. It's supposed to hold itself under its own weight. Easily pull apart. That's good. All right, there we have it. That's how you smoke a brisket. Put it on a brioche bun with some mac and cheese, a little devil's spit spicy barbecue sauce, some coleslaw. You got yourself a mac brisket sandwich. Thank you guys again so much for watching. This is a video I made because you, the viewers, have requested I do a brisket, and uh, for a while there I wasn't able to. But we just hit a thousand subscribers, so I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the ideas. There you have it. That's how you smoke a brisket. Thank you so much for watching and your continued support. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.